Hi and welcome back to the Greenfoot video tutorials where we're talking about making backgrounds. In part two out of the uh, of this tutorial, I've shown you how to make um, this image that we see here. In this part, part three, I will show you how to use tiled images. Um, we can go to our world again and select the set image option again to select another image uh, to use for the background here. And for backgrounds of worlds, of course, the backgrounds category is the most um, interesting, most relevant category to see. And here we see that there are um, any number of background images available. For my um, world here, which is a, a desert, um, I might um, choose a sandy looking uh, image here. I've got two sand patterns here. Let's say I choose this one, Sand 2. Um, that gives me a sandy um, background image. And if I compile that now, now the world will be filled with this um, sand image. The good thing about these backgrounds that are in the li library, in the image library that I've just used, is that they are made for tiling, which means the actual image is only about this big. It's only a fairly small image but it is carefully constructed so that the left edge of the image fits exactly onto the right edge and the um, top and bottom as well. So um, if the image is smaller than my actual world, then it just gets filled with multiple copies um, of this image. And because they fit together very nicely, we don't see any seams here, and so um, it fills very nicely the whole background of the world. The good thing about using tiled images is that this is now not sensitive to the size of the world. I can now go into my source code here and make the world bigger, for example, um, like this, um, and recompile this and I get a different world size and the area gets filled very nicely because just more tiles of this background images are used to fill the world. This is all there is to say already about tiled images. I can now create my elephant again and that looks alright. Um, if you're interested in more, watch part 4 of this tutorial where I will tell you how you can programmatically paint on the image, uh, on the background image of the world to create programmed um, background images.